Welcome to my advanced PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to hand draw a tree and I am going to explain some of the advanced features of speed tree. Uh, we'll just first we'll start off building our hand drawn tree. Uh, to hand draw uh, you need to hold down the space bar as you can see the cursor changes. changes. So uh, if you click and you drag up you can automatically draw your trunk and even assigns it as a trunk so it's quite a smart program and um, if you have a trunk you want to add branches to it so you hold and press down the space bar again and then you can add some branches just like that Actually, that's all there is to hand draw. It's not hard to do, but if you want to get a good tree, you it, it will it will need some practice. Um, in order to change uh, a branch uh, where it fits or the length or whatsoever, you can uh, use node selection. It's on the top of your uh, of your viewport. If you select it, uh, you can click on a branch and uh, you can change uh, where, where it sits and uh, you can rotate it to any position you want you can even make it larger or smaller it's a very neat feature to uh, tweak your tree uh, it can even be done with normal generators but I don't use it that often um, as you can see uh, it's it's a bit empty, so I'll, I'll just I've built this tree for this tutorial. Uh, I applied some materials and I've hand drawn every branch, uh, except for the level two branches. I just added them to uh, to my branches because uh, it's very hard to just draw every tiny branch that's on here. I'll just talk off the leaves. It will take ages to do that if you got a big tree. So I'll just let the uh, speech generate them. Um, next I want to talk about some of the segments of the tree. Uh, to see all the segments you want to go to uh, the random mode on the top left of your viewport and switch it to wireframe. And now you can see all your, uh, all your segments. Uh, these segments uh, decrease the performance of your uh, in UDK, if you have a lot of segments, uh, your FPS will uh, drop a lot. So you want to optimize all this. Uh, Speed Tree does that by uh, by itself, and uh, you can uh, you can make that even more if you, if you like. I'll just change that to one. As you can see, uh, the segments got stretched, and it has less detail, but it will perform better. Uh, if you go to the top left of your uh, you can see in the top left of your, of your viewport, you can see the amount of branches, so the amount of segments you're using. Uh, as you can see, if I put it down, if you, if I put the optimization down, it will increase. Um, let's switch back to uh, lit mode uh, with sh yeah. Let's add shadows to that. It looks better. Um, uh, now I want to explain some properties. Um, the, in the property window you can change uh, the size or uh, how branches rotate around another branch or the length or the radius or any of uh, any of that. So I'll just select the trunk and uh, as you can see uh, it's hand drawn so I don't have every feature. But if I click on a generated branch you can uh, have, you, you have more options to change. Um, let's first start with the trunk. Um, to increase the radius of the trunk, you go to branch and you increase it. Let's just say I put it to six. As you can see, I just got a really fat tree. <laughs> it doesn't look good, and it, as you notice here, it, it it's not fully working, so I have to decrease it again. 
so let's decrease that to 1.5 there you go I just maybe I'll just put it to 2 a bit better all right um, underneath uh, the branch you have your flares uh, the flares are these things on the bottom of your tree uh, you can increase them if you like um, let's say if I put 10 flares up it will as you can see it changed and there's more flares and but I'm not going to have 10 I'm going to have 5 uh, as you can see you can change any of these features if you like you just play with them and you'll see what it does uh, another feature I would like to show is uh, this part uh, the displacement um, as you can see here uh, it's, yeah it's, it's pretty good to see you have these these gaps in it so it's, it's like a it's, it's like texture so if you want to change that if you want to smoothen that out you want to change uh, the jagginess and the amount of it if I put at zero as you can see it got a lot smoother but it's not very realistic because it's just a very smooth tree that doesn't exist so let's put that back let's put it on 0 0.3 and it looks a bit better but watch out if, if you got if you build a very large tree with a very large radius uh, the amount of jack jackness is not it's it's awful let me show you it will probably end up like this or something oh well that's a bit too much uh, not also too much say one it will it will look like this and it's not looking good so make sure you take a good look at this feature uh, y yes that's going to the branches now uh, let's go to this one right I've explained these features in my basic tutorial but I'll show do it again um, the first is uh, where the branches start on the on the parent node so if I change that to zero as you can see it will start generating at the bottom of the of the parent node and I don't want that so it's the same as the last uh, if I put the last to 0 0.1 all of them will stack up in one spot it's not looking good so I'll just put it back to 0 0.95 um, the frequency is how many if I increase the frequency it will be more branches as you can see let's put it back to 2 uh, the size scale is the overall size uh, Watch out if you increase the size scalar, it's, it's increase the length and the radius, it's not uh, that good looking. I prefer to just change the length of my uh, spine, which means the length of my branches individually. Right, um, if we look at the wind, uh, maybe you want wind at your tree, so let's put on the leaves again. I'm going to toggle the wind. As you can see, you got a little fan here now, and the leaves move, the tree moves, and it's a, it's, it's a really cool feature. As you can see, it moves. And uh, but there's only one little problem with it, and that is uh, if you import your trees into UDK, uh, you have a feature in UDK that you can increase the wind or um, make it less but it doesn't affect the speed trees because uh, the wind uh, will uh, come with the speed tree uh, in this speed tree I I've already uh, made sure that nothing is moving except the leaves if you want to make sure that the branches are not moving uh, you just have to increase the height of your primary increase the height to a lot uh, same as the height exponent and that's it so now the branches don't move at all but the leaves will move a bit now let's have a look at the collision feature uh, you can add collision to your trees uh, to be used in UDK uh, to add a collision you want to right click add collision object and either a sphere or a capsule I'll add both for you so you can see the difference that sphere that's a capsule uh, you can increase the radius if you like 
and the height and you can only increase the radius of a sphere of course now when you're doing this you want to uh, place them oh. you want to move them over your object so they will actually form a collision but there's another way to do this to add a collision to your object and the, to your tree and that is to just generate collision primitives and you just add branch capsules well I just keep like this press ok and there you have it it's not looking too fancy but it does a decent job um, now I would like to oh let's turn that off I would go through the forces uh, forces are well as it suggests it are forces to uh, uh, you can manip manipulate the tree so if you right click you can add forces uh, let's say I want a, a magnet um, let's push the magnet over Oh, sorry. Let's put that over here. Now, if I click my branches, I have here on top, I have allow forces. And now I have to say that I will allow it. And now all my branches are moving towards the magnet. Now here you can increase the strength or decrease it. Oh, let me enable that. Let's turn the leaves off so you can see about. If I move it through my uh, tree, you can see that the branches will get attracted to it. Now you can even change the attenuation if you like. or quadric alright the next thing I would like to talk about is uh, how to use level of detail uh, level of detail is not hard to use but it will increase the performance in your games uh, let's talk about on leaves um, you click the tree generator and you scroll down and Oh, do not scroll down. It's on top here. It says level of detail. You will enable it and then you'll see this funny thing. And here you can see and change the detail of your tree. Uh, if I put it on wireframe mode, you can even see it even better. As you see, it optimizes uh, the wireframes for more performance. Um, let's put that back to the shadow. Now, uh, we want it to be set use near at far. So if the one who, if you walk near a tree, it will look good. But as you go far further away, as you can see here, in the polygon count as well, it will decrease and increase. Uh, this is uh, used for games a lot of times and uh, as you can see that the yellow box that's the billboard you can use billboards in games so that if it's really far away it's just a flat picture because it don't, doesn't matter that much and uh, well that's all about um, uh, level of detail if you enable this and you can still change it in, uh, in UDK as well UDK has a feature as level of detail uh, too, but yeah, it has to be enabled in the in speed tree. Thank you very much. This was my advanced speed tree tutorial. Um, I hope to see you guys again, and I hope you've learned a lot.